Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right. So, this is a bit of a mail call, and very, very cool mail call. Yeah, I may say that every time, I may say something to that effect, but this one's pretty awesome. So, I'm going to get right down to it. Uh, first one, first, I'm just going to mention who it's from, and that would be Matthew from My Coin Cave. This is Logo. If you don't have Matthew's channel among your channel subscriptions, definitely go and check him out. The link to his channel will be down below. He's got great content. He's a super great guy. Super, super nice dude. And uh, man, his production value just like blows me away. I'm pretty much stuck where I am for the time being. And his is <laughs> a head and shoulders above what I'm doing. So definitely give it a look. It looks nicer than the stuff I do. And he's just great at it. So definitely go check it out. So basically, um, I was just settling in to read my son a couple books before bed the other night. My wife goes to help him brush his teeth, and I decided to uh, check out Twitter real quick. And I'm glad I did it at that exact moment, because Matthew had just put up a trivia question. And I love trivia. Like, I love, love trivia. And uh, the trivia question was, Name the fictional band from the late 1980s whose true inspiration for excellent music was forged by time itself, and you must spell the band name correctly. And of course, it's Wild Stallions from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. All right, and that's spelled W-Y-L-D-S-T-A-L-L-Y-N-S. Super clever, guys. Okay, so I won, and what I did win was, first of all, this Peace Dollar Replica Copper Round. Very nice, beautiful, and I was actually saying to Matthew that I needed you know, some more copper rounds for my collection because um, I, I went out and I bought a bunch for a giveaway and I made the mistake of buying a bunch that I loved. So it was like a little painful, like, oh, I got to give these to everyone immediately. And I didn't replace them. I kept one out of that bunch. So now I've got a couple cool copper rounds to add to my stack. So like I said, it came with his, uh, his sticker and Matthew, his card right here, doing it upright. His card also a sticker on the back. Dude, it's killing it. All right, and he sent me a little bonus Twitter prize. Because, like I said, he's a kind dude. And, man, I even love the little envelopes that he put his stuff in. Awesome. He's got it. He's got this thing on lock. All right, go check him out if you haven't. So, the second one is this this Morgan, and it's got, you know, some age look to it. It's got a little toning, a little green around the edges. It looks really cool. It's Morgan replica. Copper 99 fine. Ooh, it's got some purple through the back. Very cool. And, as if that wasn't enough, he sent me this uh, proof Ike dollar. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, very nice. So, thank you so much, Matthew. That was, first of all, thank you for the trivia question. I love that. And to just win anything from it is just, psh, it's just icing on the cake. So, thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate it. And you may have seen in one of my uh, recent videos that I was talking about how I needed that 1939D nickel for my, uh, for my Jefferson Nickel book. It's a key date. And... Uh, before I went to the coin shop, I decided to bid on a couple on eBay, figuring I probably wouldn't get them, just, you know, put in a bid. And then I went to my coin shop, and they had one, like, in a folder in their safe, and I got, you know, a really good deal on it. And then I get home, and I see that I won not one, but two eBay auctions. I don't think I revealed that last time. I was a little embarrassed. But the, the final nickel arrived, and it's in nicer shape than the one that I have in my book. So I'm going to upgrade the one in my book, and the one for my book is going to go to Brad from Brad's World Coins. Uh, 
Brad helped me out with uh, with some early nickels in my book previously. So thank you, Brad. Glad I can return the favor. Okay, so that is it. That's all I've got for tonight. I do have some other things coming my way. I've been getting uh, back into eBay a lot in the past uh, like week and a half. I'm selling like more than I've sold in like six months, and I've also been uh, some been cherry picking some things here and there, winning some auctions. I have lots of cool stuff to show you in the near future. For now, I'm about to go work on that wheat scent appraisal. You may have seen those videos. And today, Brad brought me another bag of coins from that appraisal that I'm going to work on as soon as I'm done with the wheat scents. Really close on that one. And here it is. You can probably see down here. Seeing some nickels. There are a few Jefferson nickels, but for the most part, this is older than that. These are non-silver, earlier things. We've got V nickels, uh, got Buffalo nickels, some Indian head pennies. Yeah, very, very excited to see what all is in here. There's some even some earlier stuff, some uh, some denominations that are no longer minted. All right, so I look forward to sharing that with you. I'm going to get to work on finishing this wheat scent appraisal. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out my Patreon supporters, uh, Patreon supporters. Really appreciate your support. Come and have Lady Bullion as a new Patreon supporter, which blows my mind. So, so kind of you. All right. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.